Hello, beautiful people. My name is Angela, and I'm from British Columbia, Canada. You're watching Trucker Josh and the Diesel Weasel. Good morning, you fine people. And those of you out there that aren't so fine, hey to you too. Hey, how's it going? You know who you are. I don't even know who you are, but you do. We're here in uh, Mauston, Wisconsin. Uh, the quick trip. Give you a quick look-see. Found a good spot over here. But it's time to get rolling again. We have According to Karen, 2,577 kilometers to go to our destination in Fort McMurray, Alberta. Oil country. So let's pull out our thinking caps, everybody. How many miles is 2,577 kilometers? You take that, you divide it by 1.61. Exactly 1,600 miles. Well, you could round it up to 1,601 miles. We gotta get there as quickly as possible. So let's not waste any time, let's get going. I already got my coffee, got my breakfast, I got like a fruit platter and a chicken sandwich. Diesel, you ready to go back there or what? Why are the lights on? Hey, you playing games with me? All right, everybody. Let's let the day begin. Seven hours and 41 minutes of remaining drive time. Thank you. I'm just gonna do a, I'll reset my gauges here so I know what my fuel economy is like today. I have a feeling we're gonna get really good fuel economy today. There we go. Okay, so, roll forward a few feet, nice and easy, and stomp on the trailer brakes. Or I guess it'd be pull the trailer brakes. I'm not, I can't really stomp. It's a handbrake. You know what I mean? The trailer's not gonna fall off. That's the point. Hugely embarrassing. Among other things. Oh, let's get it going. Like I said, we're in Mauston, Wisconsin. I believe. Or is this Mauston? No, this isn't Mauston, is it? Pretty sure. We're just south of Black River Falls, anyway. Couldn't quite make it to the Flying J last night. It was close. Find our way out here. Oh, and Toma! That's right. Toma, Wisconsin. I think I said Mauston last night too. I also said it was Friday yesterday. I don't know why I said it was Friday. Definitely wasn't Friday. I was filming that on a Monday. Don't mind me. I just don't know what I'm talking about sometimes. <laughs> I know there's a bunch of you that'd be like, yeah, I know, right? You never know what you're talking about. I know. I hear you. Sometimes I know a little bit. Other times, not as much. Another rainy day. We're turning into the Amazon or something. I'm getting a lot of rain out this way. It's been raining at home too, just non-stop. So we'll get on to Interstate 94 westbound here. And we're gonna take this interstate all the way through into North Dakota, or we're going to take US 52 and uh, snake our way up towards the Canadian border. We're going to cross through from Portal, North Dakota into North Portal, Saskatchewan, and uh, meander our way north, and let's hope that we don't hit any of that snow that's been falling out that way. I'm much happier with the rain. I'd rather keep this. I'd rather unload this whole load in the pouring rain than have to do it in three feet of snow. More rain. More 
rain. Have I have I mentioned how much rain we've been getting recently? Absolutely oodles of it. Oodles of rain. Buckets of rain, barrels of rain. Like we're getting about half the ocean dumped on us this month. That's just insane. This is very good for us though, because our land here has been, at least back home, like I'm near Minneapolis right now, but I'm, it's like six hours or like 400 miles from home or whatever. But our land around home has been so dry the past couple of years. I was actually worried about our forest, like around our house, our trees dying off because they didn't have enough moisture, enough water. They were already kind of looking kind of sad, but this year they've really, really popped out and come back to life. All of this water is very good for our trees. And our lawn, man, our lawn has been so green all year. And fantastic. Remember last year and the year before, our lawn at this time of year in August was just dead. Bro, we didn't get any rain from like mid-July to like late September. Nothing. So everything was just absolute tinder dry. You know, a lot of rain like this also prevents forest fires and stuff. But most of all, I'm just happy that uh, our property and our yard and our trees will really be able to soak up this water. As long as we don't get too much, but you know, it's been alright. The creek is at a good level. If this continues into the winter though, man, are we gonna have a lot of snow. Snowmobilers are gonna love it. I wish I had a machine. That would be awesome. Snowmobiles are my absolute favorite kind of ATV. They're so much fun. I had one when I was younger, in my teens. We sold it off eventually, but... Man, if I could ever get a new one, one day, those things are fun. And a winter like this winter, I bet, is gonna be a good year to have one. I'm going around Minneapolis right now, and uh, we're getting a break from the heavy rain, at least, for a little while. Just got some light rain coming down on us. But it looks like there's more heavy rain up ahead there. I'm gonna look at those clouds. Oh, goody. You know, I hope that all the moisture falls now, before winter, so that in winter we don't get too much snow. That's just my own hope. But I know that the farmers around our area really hope for lots of snow in winter because that helps a lot in spring. <coughs> but maybe, I don't know quite how it works with agriculture, but maybe since we got so much moisture now in fall, maybe they don't need as much snow. I don't know. I think as long as their fields don't flood, and the ground doesn't become too saturated with water. I, I think more water is good water. I don't know. I mean, rain is a good thing, right? I've heard that. Rain makes the corn grow. Looks like the pilot here in St. Cloud, Minnesota has gotten a facelift recently. They still had those old logos on here last time, didn't they? Pretty sure. I'm not sure if they got DEF at every pump here either. I need to grab diesel fuel. I'm just below a quarter tank, and I got just over a half tank of DEF, so I don't really need to fill it up now, but I need to fill it up sooner or later. Maybe yeah, I can do that tomorrow. Yeah, I think only certain pumps here have DEF. Oh, that's fine, I'll fill it up tomorrow. Whatever, not a big deal. This one doesn't have DEF. They don't have it marked yet on these new signs. But I can tell that this one doesn't have it because it has this old pump off on my right here. That's fine. I got plenty to last me till tomorrow, till the next time I fuel. Let the good people on wherever this is know that I am here, I am on duty not driving, I am fueling, I'm also going to check my load. Hey! This thing's been acting up recently. My touch screen isn't working that well. Hoping, hey! I, might, I, mean, I think I have to recalibrate it. There we go. Let that do its thing there. Turn this off because we don't need to be burning fuel unnecessarily. 
get my sweater on. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm that driver today. Uh, sweatpants. <laughs> I know I can hear you from here. Have some self-respect. Put on a good pair of trucking pants. Well, I wanted to be comfy today, okay? Take it easy on me. Wanted to be comfy. I don't have to do any unloading or loading today. It's just a driving day. Nothing big going on. I just wanted to be comfy, okay? Don't judge me. Or judge me if you want. Leave your judgmental comments down below. Give me your best shot. We're in Fargo, North Dakota. Actually, West Fargo, I think. That semi-truck just royally cut off that pickup. Dude, man, you gotta look before you come on the road. <laughs> ah, people. So we're going into the Petro here because there's a blue beacon here. I'm gonna get myself a truck wash. I know it's supposed to rain again tomorrow through our route, but you know, at least I can get some of the soot and stuff off of my truck now, and uh, it'll be better because we're not gonna be going past another truck wash. Well, I guess there's a blue beacon in Minot. But, uh, yeah, whatever, we're gonna get the truck washed now, because I said so. And that's all the reason we need. She needs a bath. It's been too long again. Go around the back here, and good, there's not really even a lineup. Thank God, sometimes there's a lineup all the way out here. I mean, they are open, right? All these vehicles here. I think Blue Beacons are open 24-7, aren't they? Let's see, we'll go around this corner here. Oh, there's one guy in line in front of me. Okay, well that's not bad at all. We won't be here very long. Well, there's one person in line for each door. Okay, so there's two people waiting here, but there's two bays. And I'll just wait here until I see which bay is going to be done first. Well, that didn't take long. It took about 10 seconds and they started pulling this guy in. I guess I will get in line right here. So I'm gonna get a, just a tractor wash, an engine wash, undercarriage wash, and a rain -X. Usually comes out to just under $100 Canadian or uh, $75 American. The next day. Well, we made it to Carrington, North Dakota and nothing fell off. That's a win. This is where we're gonna stop for the night. It's the next morning for me already, but we're gonna end the vlog here. And we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hello, beautiful people. My name is Angela and I'm from British Columbia, Canada. You're watching Trucker Josh and the Diesel Weasel.